undermine our confidence we in are ourselves alive. and in one another. Copy what John McMaster says obviously makes our sense. Time. Russia's confidence sadly is growing. We need to stand up to them. And that's why we support Ukraine. To help defeat aggression. So on July 25th, when President Zelensky spoke with President Trump, that's what he, McMaster, was hoping to discuss. Or he would be hoping that Today, we discuss Fiber, how we can support Ukraine in its fight against a huge adversary. Two Our days? What the hell's going on? Alright. That's well, what President we're gonna refresh Trump was this. most worried about when he got on the line with the President on July 25th. Whether Ukraine what? would have confidence in U.S. support. What? Nearly 70% of Ukraine's territory, I'm sorry, nearly 7% of Ukraine's territory have been annexed by Russian-backed forces. More than 15,000 troops have been lost in the hot war over the past five years. But when President <sighs> raised the issue of U.S. military aid needed to confront Russian aggression, President Trump did nothing to reassure Ukrainian leader of our anyway, well, we're having an issue for a Ukraine sovereignty. Instead, he made personal demands. It is for these reasons that President Trump's investigations went against official U.S. policy. Witnesses confirmed that President Trump's request actually diverged not just from our policy, but from our own national security. As Dr. Hill testified, Ambassador Sondland, in carrying out President Trump's scheme, quote, was being involved in a domestic political era, and we were being involved in national security policy, and those two things that just right. diverged. Or something. I gotta be shut this part. Our holding up of security systems that would go to a country that is fighting aggression from Russia for no good policy reason, no good substantive reason, no good national security reason is wrong. As these officials so correctly observed, there's no question that President Trump's political errand and our national security diverge. That he did this to advance his re-election, not to advance U.S. national security goals. And that he did it for no good 